I am removing the electrical wiring right now and I've already disconnected uh, this temperature sensor and this went to the mass airflow sensor right here and then see these little connectors right there what you got to do is you just got to get in there and squeeze it like that and it'll undo it but there's some right here I've already disconnected everything already just to make it easier for the video and stuff but I just wanted to show how to disconnect these things like there's like a little piece of metal right there that this connects to you can see that little tab on there but it goes in here and this also has one on it but I just disconnected the wiring from it and there's a plug right here that I disconnected had to disconnect this this and then there's three connectors right here I disconnected all of them already then the this is the throttle position sensor disconnected that I disconnected this right here with a 10 millimeter wrench and then this right there that goes to the air idle control and you got the temperature sensor right here disconnected all that and there was a little tab right here that went into that hole so all this should start lifting out I disconnected this hose like that and then this thing right here some of these connectors are kind of goofy <coughs> you can see you can see what it looks like after you disconnect it but the way that you the way that you disconnect this is you just put a screwdriver in there and then you twist it like that and then kind of lift up on it like when you push down you'll be able to feel it but you just twist it a little bit and it just disconnects that so then this will be able to come up out of there and then I disconnected this and then this little tab right there and then disconnected that electrical wire from there it's like oh and then there's like little tabs right here it's hard doing this with just one hand oh and it looks like I forgot something down here there I got that disconnected right like that and then I'll just pull all this up even with everything taken apart it's still it's still difficult to do this with one hand I might just put the camera down for a second oh there we go what I do with all this electrical wiring is I just throw it up here like that get it out of the way of the engine and I've already undone all of this right here already there I go oh this should just come up out of there before I take it out you can take a look at where all this stuff is connected like this wire right here it goes from the back all the way up to the front into this like that you kind of see where all of these go to and how the wires are all routed and stuff sometimes you'll take something out of the car and then you forget how how it was wired but there we go 
and then there's like these little tabs right there that these things stick into and then I disconnected that and there's like a little tab thing that this sticks into so we got all this junk out of the way of the engine and then I disconnected all this stuff right here this and these wires and stuff they're separate from this wire bundle here so I'm going to do those later whenever I take the fuel injectors out and stuff but I got rid of all the wiring like that and I'm going to make it a little neater and put it up onto maybe like a towel or something by the window so it doesn't scratch the plastic and stuff but that's that for right now after I removed all the electrical wiring from this bundle right here I just stuffed it into this extra bag that I had laying around it's like a car cover bag that I'm not using really but I just stuffed all the electrical wiring up inside of there just to get it out of the way and so that it's not like damaged or anything but that's what I did with it the tools that I used to do that were 10 millimeter wrench or a 10 millimeter socket and a screwdriver and I used this thing right there to undo some of the connectors that held the wires down but that's just the tools that I use right there